Ah, good day. Welcome to Farming Live Australia. We've had rain for the last week and it fined up yesterday. Today I'm going to go over and widen one of our fire breaks. While the ground is soft and I can get the suckers out easy. Come along for the ride and we'll see how we go. <laughs> Here we've got a situation where a tree limb's grown over the top of the road and I know it's only a matter of time that's going to fall down or if we light a fire it gets into the tree through it via the limb so I want to cut that limb off. This is where things started to go wrong. I got in the bucket and I wouldn't normally do this except I'm only a couple of feet off the ground. And I know it's probably not the thing to do, but I thought I'll be right. And I thought I'll just cut this limb off. And had I had just kept going like that, it would have been fine. But then I got a brainwave halfway through, or a brain fart, or I don't know what you call it. And that's when I started to get into trouble. Here's where I made a mistake. I thought, oh, I don't want that limb coming back onto me. So I'll cut a bit of a scarf out of the bottom and make sure that it falls free. And... It went all right for a while, then all of a sudden it moved and pinched. Which had I cut a bit of a scarf out in the first place, it probably wouldn't have been a problem. I thought, ah, oh, I'll get Pat to go back and get the bucket under the limb and lift it up and ease the saw and I'll pull it out. Anyway, and had I been thinking, what I should have done was got it to lower me to the ground, got out and lifted the limb myself but then I didn't know who was going to grab the chainsaw so I was sort of thinking about getting the saw back more than I was thinking about my own safety. So the tree made the decision for us and decided it had enough of all this tomfoolery and if you watch the chainsaw the limb fell on top of it and I thought oh no my favourite little chainsaw. Anyway, I went over and had a bit of a look at the chainsaw and thought I was going to have to give it a funeral or something, but actually it didn't look too bad, and I thought, oh, I might be able to save it. I got back in the loader and very carefully lifted the log off the chainsaw and Pat pulled it out from under it. Well that's how easy you can get into trouble. It didn't wreck the saw as you can see it still goes all I did was bent the handle on it a bit which I'll go home and straighten up and I didn't want to ruin that little saw because it's a really good little saw. 
But really, I did a heap of things that I shouldn't have done there, in a bit of a hurry and trying to get things done. And it just shows you how things can go wrong pretty quick. I made a quite a few mistakes. First thing I should have done was if I wanted to cut that wedge out, I should have done it first. But it was sort of an afterthought and I probably wasn't thinking properly. Anyway, I got away with it, but if I continue to do that, I won't much longer. All right, well that was very easy. Now, how do I get it off? <laughs> oh dear. Um. Oh, crikey, it's tougher than I would have thought. Um. Right, I got it off. You can see this here is quite bent. I don't think this is bent much, but this here is quite bent. But it's not going to be a major job to fix it up. Okay. Well, the saw seems okay. I just bent the handle. I got out of that really lightly. It was just a whole heap of stupid things I did. I straightened the handle back out, screwed it back on. Took a bit to make it fit again, but I got it right. Then I started her up and made sure she ran all right. There was no problem. We're just driving back over to the job and I'm having a bit of a look at what I've achieved. And actually it's all right. I'll go through with the rake and rake it now and clean it up more maybe as the summer comes I'll plant some grass on it or something wouldn't hurt it'll make it a lot safer for the fence line it was a bit close before and if it fire came through it probably would have burnt the fence at least this way it's a lot safer you can see along this side of the fire break where the fence is there's also quite a lot of wattles growing up you really can't get in there with a loader or anything to clean them up. So what I'm going to do is go along with the chainsaw and cut them off. We'll throw them into the scrub and then when I come along with the loader I'll push them in and they'll get burnt when I burn off the scrub.
This one here is a bit heavy to move by hand, so I'm going to get the machine and push it into the scrub. And while I'm about it, I'll clean up the others and push them in the scrub as well. I wanted to clean up around this tree pretty thoroughly because it would be a good tree for timber and it is in the road where it is. When this fence was built it was probably 30 years ago at least and a lot of these trees were probably just saplings and didn't look like much but they've obviously grown up into pretty big trees and now they could and would fall over the fence given half a chance. So I'm going to have to take some out. The good sawmill logs I'll saw up into construction timber and the straight ones that are a bit smaller I'll use for poles and any that's just absolute crap I'll use for firewood so none of it's going to get wasted. When we were working a bunch of wiener sized heifers all came over and had a look at what we were doing. You never work on the place for long until some cattle turn up there. If they hear you, they always come and have a look what you're up to. Well, she's getting late. I think it's time to go home and have a cup of tea and edit this movie. That about wraps up this edition of Farming Live Australia. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.